Hello buddies, I have been on a jewelry kick and in this video I am going to show you how I get this crisp white background and it really, you know, shows the detail of the items. Sometimes when you use a light box you lose some of that detail. So I'm going to show you exactly what I do. It's not an app, it's just a simple filter that is going to enhance and make your listing look so much better. As you can see, it's just a crisp white background. All right, you guys, stay tuned. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Full time reseller. All right. Let's get started. Okay, so I start with a light box, but as you can see, it's not crisp, it's not white. You can't see the detail of the bracelet. So I am on eBay and I am using the filter to get that crisp look. As you can see here, look how much better that looks. I picked that bracelet up at a garage sale. I believe it was a dollar super good find super cute and i think this came from a garage sale also i picked it up in a bulk lot of items so i'm really really enjoying selling jewelry it's super easy to list and i love enhancing the pictures with this filter it just really makes the details pop as you can see and it's super, super simple, you guys. You don't have to like take your photos over to an app, try to make the background different, or use your finger to try to color around the object. It's just a simple filter. But you do have to start with the white background. So please feel free to put any questions you have in the comments. I've had some people asking me about this, so I thought I would just go ahead and make a video since I was listing jewelry anyway. Um, I did list a bunch of items from my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay, my 344 pounds of jewelry. So if you want to check out some of those videos, you can definitely uh, go to my channel and see where I pick it up and where I weigh it. I have somewhat sold videos, but I have tons and tons of jewelry to list. And I just was kind of in the mood and I've been listing jewelry for about three days and I think I'm going to list for the next couple days. I've got it all set up on my kitchen counter and I'm just kind of hanging out listing jewelry. So it's, it's pretty fun. Now on this one, I think there's two stones that were replaced. You can see that dark pink one and this white one here. The surface area is larger than the other stones. Um, but this is a really old piece, a super cool piece. And, uh, We'll see, we'll see. I've got it up for auction. I'm not sure really um, what it's gonna go for, but I'm gonna start it at $29.99 and just see what happens. If it doesn't sell, I will um, change it to a buy it now with best offer. And I do that a lot with things that I'm unsure of. And jewelry, you know, I'm pretty new to jewelry. So a lot of times I will throw them up for auction and just hope for the best. I just listed a brooch and the brand was M-A-Z, I think it's Maz, and I'm not sure if it's a dog or a cat, but I started it at $12.99, and I got a bid within like an hour or so, so I'm like, um, did I list that too cheap? But anyway, it's got some watchers, so I'm curious to see what it goes for, but I'm really not sure if it's a dog or a cat, and I think it's coming up, so um, you guys can let me know what you think. I think I did a a screenshot of it so we'll see if it comes up here in a minute so uh, let me know if you have any questions this is super simple super easy again I was just editing pictures anyway so I just recorded each one so I'm basically just showing you guys how I do it what my process is and again it's super easy you don't have to go to another location you don't have to take your pictures and you know download them somewhere else and that's why I start another reason why I start on eBay and then I cross post my items to the other platforms because I want my main photo my first photo 
to be crisp and white and detailed. So I start on eBay and then I go um, and I bulk cross post using List Perfectly. And if you guys have not tried List Perfectly, you should definitely, definitely check it out. I have a video on that. And um, if you'd like to try it, you can get 30% off your first month with referral coupon code BOLO BUDDIES, all one word. That'll get you 30% off your first month of List Perfectly. And it's great. So I was actually supposed to cross post some stuff tonight and I decided to work on this video instead. So, you know, everything takes time. So I will probably end up cross posting this jewelry to Poshmark and Mercari probably tomorrow. So um, this works on earrings, it works on bracelets, it works on necklaces, and it's just a great, easy tool. And I'm just showing you guys what I'm doing. Now this one, this is kind of a funny story. I think I show you the clasp. I had another necklace and I sent a picture to Moonstone Mamas asking her about it. And she's like, oh, that clasp. She's like, you should throw that one away. And I was like, oh, really? Why? And she's like, because that will spread. And I'm like, ah, oh, I might have cropped it out of the video, actually. Um, no, here it comes. This is a different necklace. This is not the one I showed her. But apparently, if this stuff gets on your jewelry and you put it with other jewelry, I guess it'll spread. <laughs> I'm like, oh my goodness, that's awful. But, um, I may end up taking that necklace down because I didn't know that until after I um, listed the item. Maybe I'll just, I don't know, I'll probably just take it down. But it's such a cute set. Maybe I can crop out the necklace and just sell the earrings or something because the earrings were fine. And I didn't see that stuff on anything else. But she said it will spread. I'm like, that is very strange. So if you guys haven't checked out Moonstone Mamas, definitely go check her out. She has been a great support to me. She has helped me identify a lot of items. I'm really new to jewelry and she's just has a great channel. You'll definitely learn a lot if you go check her out. So check out Moonstone Mamas. All right, I, I'm pretty sure I did this cat or dog thing. It should be coming up. I don't know what this is made of, but it is very, very cool. Um, it may just be plastic, but it's super, super cute. I could not find any comps, and that is another thing that's super hard about jewelry, is finding comps. Now this next one, I believe, is Tiger's Eye. And then I believe that the, um, the flower is a, um, a shell. So it's a really neat piece. Okay, here it is, you guys. Comment below. Is this a cat or a dog? Let me know what you think. Like, at first I thought it was a cat, and then I was like, it doesn't have whiskers. It kind of has, like, those poofy lips like a dog would. So, I don't know. I'm completely confused. So, I just put cat, dog, question mark. <laughs> but I started it at $12.99, and it already has a bid. So, and the auction will probably be over by the time I share this listing. Now, this item I believe came from the bulk buy. There's a mix between a garage sale and the bulk buy and I've probably listed between 60 and 75 items. So definitely go down to the description of the video and go into my eBay store and I have categories. I have two separate categories. I have um, jewelry and then I have jewelry BB. And if you want to see the items that I have listed from my bulk buy, uh, you want to click on the one with BB. So this little fly is super cute. I was kind of in the mood to do brooches. I did a few necklaces, but I'm getting a lot of stuff up. Now this next one is, I always say this, oh, nope, that's not it. This one is um, gold filled over silver. And the sell-through rate is horrible on eBay. Like, they're just sitting and there's no sold. So, um, Moonstone Mamas recommended I put it on Etsy. So, I may try that. I'll just cross-post it with List Perfectly right over to Etsy. Super easy. And then, I should probably do that with all of these vintage items because I feel like Etsy's a really good platform for items like this. And I'm probably missing out because 
I'm a little bit of a slacker on Etsy, I gotta tell ya. Now this one is Savorsky, is that how you say it? Crystal, it's, um, it's got the little swan on the back and comps look really good on this, so I was pretty excited about this one. All right, you guys, eBay filter, super easy, check it out. Be sure to check out the description of the video, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.